Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Balanced of Doubt. It's very early here in the morning, a Monday morning. That's why I'm not talking all that loud because the troops are still upstairs sleeping. But I wanted to talk to you a second about letting go. You see, in fact, here's the book by Dr. David Hawkins, Letting Go. It's not letting go. It's really it's letting go of importance. So I'm kind of kind of tie the two books, letting go and um, reality trans surfing by Vadim Zeland together, um, and also actually a little bit of Neville Goddard. See, as you get into this more and more, you really start to kind of delve into um, more spiritual thinking or more becoming aligned with who you truly are, you start to understand that a lot of the teachings and going back maybe hundreds, even thousands of years, it really has a certain thread. And the thread is that it is, everything is done in the universe. Creation is finished. So the biggest tool, if you will, that we have is our imagination. And I have notes over here, but with that light above my head, it'd be hard for you guys to see them. But that's why I'm going to kind of glance over there from time to time. Imagination is reality. Now, I know that's somewhat paradoxical to think. You're like, well, we're saying that George, what do you mean imagination? I look outside and I'm watching you right now. This is reality. No, not, not, so, not necessarily. What we think of reality is nothing more than our past thoughts being uh, reflected back to us. In truth, imagination is reality. I think it was Einstein said, imagination circles the world. And he said, if parents want their children to grow up happy, read them the fairy tales because it's in the imagination that where everything lies, that is the reality. So you, whatever you're imagining yourself to do, to be, to have, that is your reality. It's already finished. So we work, we, we, we don't really work, we think from the premise of it's already happened. I'm already living that life. No power outside of you unless you choose to have it. So no, there's no power outside of you unless you choose to have it that way. You see, we, again, we make these unconscious decisions in the sense that somebody or something else has a power over you or I. That That is absolutely untrue. Nothing or nobody outside has any power over us, over us unless we choose to allow them to have that. And then Bazim Zeeland refers to this as importance. There's two types of importance. There's inner importance and there's outer importance. Outer importance will be putting, um, just choosing that somebody or something else outside of us has power over us. Or that we have a goal and that we have to have that come true. We have to work and we're, we're putting importance on making sure that that comes absolutely true. Um, inner importance would be something along the lines of, I'm perfect in every way, um, you know, or, or the opposite of I'm, I, I'm a nobody, I'm a failure, I can't, I can never do anything right. And what Vadim Zeeland talks about is that the universe has what's called balanced forces. So we put importance on something, the universe will bring balanced forces to make that, keep the equilibrium um, the same. And that's because everything in nature is is perfect. Everything in our universe is operates without any type of um, problems, if you will. To put up a, a, a put a certain way about put a put that in a certain way. <clears throat> you you know it's here in New Jersey now. We're getting into the fall season, and the trees are going to start to turn color. The leaves will turn colors. They're going to fall from the tree. That's, that's it's it's nature. Nature doesn't 
you know, trees don't sometimes lose their leaves and other times not. New fruit will bloom uh, in the spring. That, that's nature. So by surrendering your free will to the belief within results in it appearing that way. So I'm going to say that again because I'm going to tie that, that, comp, that, that statement in. Well, in total, no power outside of you, no power has any, nothing outside of you has any power unless you choose to have it appear that way by surrendering your free will to the belief within that results in it appearing that way. Now, notice the word appearing that way. It's not that way, but it appears and it comes from our beliefs. I've spoken to many times in other videos about our beliefs, much like this computer has an operating system. So our operating system, if you will, are the beliefs that were programmed into us from an early age. And then we carry these beliefs around. So this is where, in Vadim Zeeland talking about, in the book, um, about importance, we put importance on things such as, I'm not good enough, I'm, I'm not worthy enough, I don't deserve, those are just beliefs that appear that way. In reality, we absolutely are deserving. We absolutely are worthy of whatever it is. And we wouldn't have, it, yeah. it wouldn't be in our reality if we didn't have a desire to have that. Whatever it may be, the relationship, it could be the job, it could be a, your own business, it could be wh whatever it may be. It wouldn't have you wouldn't have the desire if it wasn't already a reality in your imagination. So letting go is letting go of these beliefs that I'm perfect or I never make mistakes versus I'm never, I'm not good enough. I, things don't work out for me. So I want to quote, quote from the book, letting go by, by uh, Dr. Hawkins, where he says, this is from the book by uh, Victor Frankl in Man's Search for Meaning. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing, that last of human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. And then Dr. Hawkins goes on to say, every life experience, no matter how tragic, contains a hidden lesson. When we discover and acknowledge the hidden gift that there that is there, a healing takes place. And he goes on to say about Carl Jung, there is an inborn drive in the unconscious toward wholeness, completeness, and realization of the self, and that the unconscious will devise the ways and means of bringing this about, even if they are traumatic to the conscious mind. And Jung, Carl Jung talked about the shadow. The shadow is all the repressed, repressed thoughts, feelings, and concepts about ourselves that we do not want to face. So this is that part of letting go that I'm talking about this morning. Letting go of those beliefs, letting go and going in, going inside and uncovering or, or tapping into those beliefs and making a conscious decision to let go of them and make the conscious decision that yes, I am worthy. I am deserving. I am whole. I am perfect. Not in an ego sense, but perfect from a spiritual sense. And that everything that happens in my life, anything that I see on the outside, anything that I perceive remember uh, if you watched my video from or earlier this weekend and if you haven't already and you'd like to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell you can go back and check out those videos about our higher mind conceives this is why we have desires the the brain receives that con that, that they have um that vision okay so the higher mind conceives a vision the brain receives a vision our our brain and then our physical mind brain perceives what the higher mind has conceived so this is where we have this internal battle 
of the fact that the higher mind can conceive an idea means that it is already finished. And this is what I talk about letting go, letting go of those beliefs, oftentimes unconscious beliefs. Now you say, well, George, they're unconscious. How can I understand they're there? We do by <clears throat> noticing our thoughts. Okay. If you watch my video from yesterday about speech, our speech is nothing more than inner workings of our mind. So then, and the other part from yesterday's video is very instructive is from this point on, this video on, notice your conversations with people, anybody, okay? But not so much the conversations. Notice your thinking during the conversation. Your, in, door, before, just before the, the conversation, during, and then after. And if you're able to do this, you're able to be conscious of your feelings doing this, what it's going to reveal to you is your level of self, um, your self-image, your, con your conception, your concept of self. Because it, all of this, and to kind of tie this into a bow here, all of this really works off of a concept of self. And letting go of that concept of self that is not harmonious towards that vision that we have for ourselves. Anything that gets in the way between ourselves and connecting with that vision are just these conscious and oftentimes unconscious beliefs that we choose to believe that are, they are these are abstractions. These are not actual beliefs. Okay, these are not they're being outpictured in our in our reality. But when we make a conscious decision, a choice to no longer attach ourselves to those, we emotionally attach ourselves anything other than the connection to what it is we truly want to de and desire to have be or or to obtain in our life if you have uh, any questions at all if you feel like you would like to have maybe a one-on-one -on -one, you can work i'm offering you to work with me i'll be working with you on this if you'd like to do that you go to my channel click on the link if you haven't already done so hit the subscribe button and notification bell and if you are returning thank you so much and i ask this one thing that you share these videos because the more people see these types of videos around the world, the healthier and the happier this world will be. Thank you.